so effective in long stretches with going small. Bones, I know you have the answer and you're going to guide us through. Well, I, I don't have the answer, but I'm sure, certainly enjoying watching. By the way, that offensive rating of 157, that's like higher than your IQ, Vince. Um, what, <laughs> yeah, by like 70 hard. points. Right, keep, keep them above so the waist, watch, keep them above the waist. Watch a little bit about what the Warriors are doing. First of all, they can scramble with this lineup. They can be all over the place switching. Clay Thompson had the mismatch there on Blake Griffin. They swing in the round. Draymond Green comes out of the hole to challenge the shot. And then Draymond's going to take off, relying on his guys to pick up the rebound. When Andre Iguodala is playing the four position and does that, he can blast out, put it down, and what happens? He buries Jamal Crawford down there in the hole to get an easy layup. Here's a possession on the offensive end where teams are deciding to switch. Okay, well, let's switch. Let's try and do what the Warriors do. Well, they're really good if you get Draymond Green down in the post against a point guard, which is Heinrich on this point. And as you can see, Barnes recognizes this, lobs it in. Watch the timing of the Steph uh, Curry cut on the back end. He's on the cut before the ball gets to Draymond's hands. Nobody there on the backside to help lay up for the Warriors. And then a nice set from Luke Walton here. I'm sorry, Steve Kerr. I'm sorry, Luke Walton. Doesn't matter. He runs Steph Curry off that last screen. And again, you get the switch where Heinrich has to pick up. And we're going to demonstrate this. Heinrich has to pick up Draymond Green. Because Iguodala is at the five, that means Pau Gasol is away from the paint. Draymond doesn't get just one attempt. He gets two, able to put that one back in. So th this unit, plus 74 events in the 54 minutes they've played together so far in this perfect season for the Golden State Warriors. Teams finding it hard on both ends to figure out what to do against them. Yeah, you know my IQ, so I'm trying to stay with you on all of this. But I well, think I just follow. barely, I said, above. I, I, I your, think I yeah. follow. Yeah. Um, so if that's not enough, Bones, so you've taken us on the court here, and, and the guys are going to go through through some of these yeah. sets and show us why it's been so effective. We're, we're going to just show you the ways that Draymond Green can can kill you when you've got him at the five position. Right. Expect how you're going to have five men uh, defend this. So Danny's going to be Harrison Barnes, and I'm you can Harrison. be Andre Iguodala. Actually, you'll be Clay Thompson. I think you have a, that similar <laughs> kind of shot. But the first thing that they do is they're going to run high pick and roll with Steph Curry. So. Any coach is telling a defender on Steph Curry, if I'm coming off, and stay here for a second, Rick, if I'm coming off this pick and roll, my defender cannot go underneath. Why? It's Steph Curry. Three-point shot. So now he knows he's got a defender on his hip. When this happens, you're creating a lead for your guard. So now you're going to have to stop the ball. That means the guy defending the screener, in this case Draymond Green, is going to have to come respect the ball handler. Steph's going to come off, and what you see Draymond Green do all the time as Steph throws his hook pass left-handed is on the catch, he is gone, right? So now you've got two defenders there having the pinch in, and those are shooters. Harrison Barnes can shoot. Exactly right. Of course, Clay Thompson can shoot. So now as Draymond Green gets in there and pass the big, he can find the shooters, okay? That's first where okay, he causes a ton of problems. Secondly, we're going to go through what we saw on that videotape is the play that they ran with Steph Curry going off and getting the switch and then being able to bury the small guy down the uh, bottom with Draymond Green. So, Danny, you play over there. You'll go off as Steph. Okay. Okay, here's the ball. He's going to go catch the ball on the wing. I'm guarding Steph Curry, and what happens is this last guy switches. So now I'm Kirk Heinrich or a point guard on the Draymond Green. Well, he's going to walk me down and hold me off to the point where now I'm in the post and I'm in the paint and I'm mouse in the house. I'm in the box. There's no way I'm getting around him. When the ball comes in, Draymond's quick, strong, uses his body to get to the rim and score the basketball. So you, you make that last switch, and now you've got problems with a little guy guarding Draymond Green. The last thing we'll go through is when it is that Steph Curry's got the ball on the side here, and Rick, you'll play defense. Danny, you'll be Draymond Green. Yep. Steph gets the ball on the side here. Dray Draymond Green is your five man now, Vince. He's being guarded by a center or a four that's trying to guard him. Now Steph's working without the ball. Now in this instance, what he could do is survey the floor, and he's the best assist maker on the team right now for the Golden State Warriors, averaging seven assists a game. So Steph Curry working without the ball, if he vacates this area and that five man is not respecting where Draymond Green is on the floor, guess what Draymond Green, Green can do? Shoot to three. He's going to bury that shot. Now the five man steps out. Steph's clearing space. As soon as that happens, Draymond Green able to put the ball down on the floor.